Germany has today become the next domino to fall. The unvaccinated will be banned from shops and every other area of society besides essential services. That means that the government is graciously still allowing them to buy food, at least for now, and that's basically it. So long as they properly segregate themselves from other vaxxed shoppers. Yeah, that's an actual supermarket in Germany. But they are banned from bars, restaurants, cinemas, all lifestyle, all culture, basically everything else. They've even told the unjabbed that they're only allowed a maximum of two people inside their own homes over Christmas. No jab, no life. And pretty soon, no jab, no job, as authorities announced they'd make the vaccine mandatory by February. And for those who still refuse, well, it'll probably be the same as in Austria, but don't worry, they're not gonna forcibly drag you off to a vaccination center. They're just gonna forcibly drag you off to a detention center until you get vaccinated. See, they're nice, reasonable people. Before the vax was available, Germany was already incarcerating rule breakers in detention camps. Such facilities are really gonna come in handy. Germany using emergency powers to segregate, stigmatize, persecute, and ultimately imprison an oppressed minority. What could possibly go wrong? I think I remember reading about something similar happening at some point in history. Can't for the life of me remember when. Germany and authoritarianism. Name a more iconic duo. The upcoming compulsory vaccination is the biggest political breach of promise in the history of the Federal Republic of Germany, says the former editor-in-chief of Bild. This is Angela Merkel's parting gift to her countrymen. Thanks, Angela. Life in Germany is already almost intolerable, even for the fully vaxxed. Getting a haircut in Germany is now worse than going through airport security. Bei Friseuren gilt optional noch das 3G-Zugangsmodell. Das heißt, es dürfen sich nur geimpfte, genesene oder getestete Personen im Laden aufhalten. Eine digitale Nachverfolgung gibt es hier nicht. Die Kontaktdaten werden schriftlich erfasst. States in Germany have of course been imposing similar 2G powers for months. And it's been such a rip-roaring success that Germany just reported its highest corona death toll in nine months. Virtually every other country currently experiencing a COVID wave in Europe is also implementing harsher versions of the same measures they've already been taking for over a year. So let's just do all that more and see if it has a different effect. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. If only there was a neighboring country that had been doing something completely different from the start of the pandemic that Germany could emulate. Such a shame that a country like that doesn't exist. A country that never imposed legal lockdowns, mask mandates or vaccine passports. Oh well. To get exclusive content, early access, behind the scenes stuff and to personally interact with me, please sign up for my community at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Link in description, and thank you for your generous support.